allowed. Um, boy, this, this lighting here is horrible. But we've allowed these people to stay in the office all these years. And that re Republican talking point about they could just use one door and, you know, that, that one door would, uh, The, the gunman could, would only have one door to go in. Okay, but then every 1,200 people would only have one door to go out. So, oh. um, obviously that's not gonna work because 1,200 people cannot go in and out of one door, one school door. So that's a stupid concept. And then I said to her, lady, tell me why you want that gun. What do you need the gun for? Because the Second Amendment was so that um, renegade people that worked for the army would not go and harm people and um, harm people and, you know, go on people's farms and go on people's houses and, you know, kidnap their daughters. That's literally what the Second Amendment was for. Um, they didn't have telephones back then. They didn't have electricity back then. Somebody deputized you and they made you um, part of the army. So there was no way until the cavalry came, <laughs> until, you know, the, the, the army sent someone, um, there was no way for anybody to pick up the phone and say and verify, yes, we sent them. There was no way for anybody to know that. So that's where the Second Amendment came from, people. Come on, pick up a book, watch a movie. You needed to have a rifle in case someone went rogue and they decided to show up and say they were from the army with a fake piece of paper and say, we're commandeering your property. So that that's what the Second Amendment was from. That no longer exists today. It's no longer needed. And um, the Second Amendment has been used and abused. Um, so anyway, anyway, I said to the lady, the one door concept is a talking point. Obviously you've gone to school, you no longer need it. So you tell me why you need that gun today. She never responded back to me. Tell me why right now today, anybody needs, and it's not a, a AR 47 or 57. Um, obviously, I don't know weapons. Um, it's it's an AR-15. So there is no one in America living in society today that needs an AR-57. And then I saw Acosta on CNN interviewing the judge. And the judge's point was an AR-57 does the same thing that um, a 22 does. It If you shoot, it kills you. And he was absolutely right, which is my point. Why do you need a 22? Why do you need a, uh, an AR-15? Why do you need any gun in your possession? For what purpose do you need a gun? Um, to fend off the police? We know why drug dealers need a gun. Drug dealers need a gun because other drug dealers have guns. It's territorial. We know why mobsters need guns. Mobsters need guns because other mobsters need guns. We know why police need guns because they're supposed to be fighting crimes. But why does the average citizen need a gun? To go hunting animals? Stop hunting animals. Outlaw hunting any type of animals. Oh, I want to hunt a deer and put his head on my wall. No, no, come on. No more hunting animals and deers and lions for sport. That is inhumane. You mean to tell me, you think it is inhumane to have an abortion, but it is not inhumane to kill a deer? What about their right to life? If a life is a life, why is it the life of an animal just as valuable as a life of a human? Give me a break. So at any rate, um, if we outlaw hunting, because a life is a life, the life of a bear is just as valuable. Don't tell me there's too many bears and we need guns to shoot them. No, we don't need a gun to shoot the bear. 
You can put poison down and let the bear eat poison and the meat. And that will get rid of the population of bears. There's other ways to get rid of bears than shooting them. You can dart the bear where you don't need a gun. If you think poisoning them is too long because it takes too long to kill them. <laughs> they said they said three things. Donald Trump's never going to be president. We're never going to have a civil war. And Roe v. Wade is not going to be overturned. A fourth thing that, that they said is slavery is never going to come back. Four things that I heard when I was a little girl. Donald Trump has been president. Roe v. Wade is going to be overturned in June. Um, today, today is the 30th. Tomorrow is the 31st. And then we're in June. We had a civil war January 6th. Y'all call it an insurrection, but that was a civil war. And it was a civil war that got rid of your, your, your fundamental, um, it was a civil war, but the, the, the reversal of Roe v. Wade got rid of your, um, your federal protected liberties. It didn't get rid of abortion because abortion is not in the constitution. It got rid of your protected, uh, uh, your protected liberties, your, your federal protected liberties. Okay. And um, what did I say? Slavery is the last thing. So the things that everybody said is never going to happen. It's never going to happen. That's what you all said. Those four things never going to happen, right? <laughs> well, three of the four have already happened. So check back with me in about four years. I'm 54 right now. This year I'll be 55. Four years, I'll be 59. So right before my 59th um, birthday, <laughs> I'll be checking in again. And I can guarantee you, we're going to be talking about slavery. Now, they're not going to have enough um, white population to, to start the slavery um, because, you know, those babies have to grow up. But that white population, those babies that they're going to force those white women to have, those babies are going to be four years old. Mm -hmm. You'll think I'm playing. You'll think this is a joke. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. So, um. I'm making this video because I would like for regular, regular non-MAGA Republicans to please start voting for progressives in the June election. And I would like for you guys to um, vote for progressives in because why am I asking regular, <laughs> regular um uh, Republicans to vote for um, to vote. Why am I asking you guys to vote for um, progressives? Well, you guys have a stake in this as well. And it is your daughters, your already born daughters that is at risk as well. And so if you guys aren't going to help out, your daughters are going to be the ones um, that, that they're going to be kidnapping. Right now, I'm watching on the news, the news that most people are ignoring, um, women are being kidnapped. And you don't think that these women are dead. Damn, if they're dead, you're not finding the bodies. They're just being kidnapped. I can't find my daughter. I don't know where they are. I just saw a, a, a story the other day. The lady was kidnapped. They found her alive. She was being held. She don't know who was holding her. She don't know who they are. But for some reason, she got out and she escaped. And she managed to work her way back. She don't know where she was being held. Yeah, that's who's holding her. They are holding her. They were holding her. 
I don't know who was holding her, but I know that lady, that white lady was being held and she didn't know where and she got away. And <laughs> she couldn't say she didn't know who, who was holding her. So, all right, this is being happening. White women are being kidnapped and they're being kept alive. Black women are being kidnapped and they're being murdered. This is happening every day. This is being reported. I am not being an alarmist. They're reporting this on the news. Martin um, um, uh, Roland is reporting this. TYT is reporting this. That these missing people, they're being these um, being reported on the regular news. CNC is reporting this. People, Fox is not reporting it. Um, NJN 101.5 is not reporting it. Um, um, oh, damn it. Here I go again. I can't think of the other news stations. Um, I always watch the different news stations. I don't, even though I'm Democrat, I don't just watch Democrat news. I watch all different types of news. And then I'm watching this other, I'm watching this other um, news. I'm trying to keep this 15 minutes and I'm going to cut it anyway. So when you're watching my stream and if you should choose to watch it and it jumps, it's because I'm cutting out all the extra talk. Um, cause sometimes I, you know, put extra stuff in there or I curse and I have to take it out, <laughs> but I don't just watch one news. You know, I, my mother always taught me to make sure that I watch more than just one type of news. And then you got to weed through what's BS and what's not BS. And anyway, my point is that you regular Republicans, not the crazies, Republicans. You guys have a stake in this and you independence too. But this video is just asking regular Republicans that are not voting for Donald Trump, that are not voting for these people that are following Donald Trump. You guys have a stake in this too. You guys sat back and you allowed these people to become part of your party. And now you want to sit back and say, well, we, we don't want to be a part of these people. Okay. But you can't sit back and stay home and not vote. You can't you can't go out and then skip Donald Trump's name and then vote down the rest of the ticket Republican because, you know, these Republicans are backing Donald Trump's policies. You know that they're going along with the, the rest of the MAGA that's that Donald Trump is putting in there. Now, look what's happened. So you're just as much at fault. You can't say, but we want the guns, but we want to put justices on there that want Roe v. Wade, because it wasn't about Roe v. Wade. It was about getting rid of your fundamental rights. So you, you put someone on there that you said, oh, we, we want them to, you know, we, we, don't, we don't want them to have uh, get rid of abortions. At life, uh, at viability, so we're going to put them in there. Well, guess what they did? They turned back your federal fundamental rights. So that's your civil liberties. They wiped out every damn thing. You happy now? They didn't, they didn't just, because the man just even said, Alito said, there's no abortion rights in the Constitution. That's preposterous. He wiped out everything. He, he, he even <laughs> wiped out the fact that Justice Thomas no longer has a right to be a justice. Because the thing that made him able to be on a black justice on the court, on the court that he sits on was a civil right, a constitutionally, federally protected, fundamental civil right. That is the thing that caused them to have the right to make their own decision about their body. That's the thing that they overturned. They didn't overturn abortion. It was the right 
to choose. And that is what they all are going to overturn. So you regular Republicans that went along with this thing about viability of life. Anyway, you guys need to help out because those children who died, it's on everybody's hands. And we've had these Democrats and Republicans in office for 30 years. Nothing is getting done in this country. No laws are being passed. What are we going to do now? We're at, whether you're Democrat, whether you're Republican, or whether you're independent, or whether you're not even registered to vote. Donald Trump is running in 2024. Let's, let's real talk now. And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are going to be running again. We don't want either of them. I know I don't. So we had to get rid of Donald Trump. So we put Biden in and he selected Kamala as his running mate. We never wanted her in, in the first place. So um, we got rid of Trump. Now we got Biden. Now, who do we get rid of Biden for when Trump's running again? How do we get rid of both of them when we now we don't have a choice of, of anybody else? So now we're stuck again with the same people. And Biden been in there for 30 years. These people have got to go. These people have they have got to go. They have ruined our country. So anybody who has been in Congress for this long, these people have got to go. You cannot tell me that we cannot find anybody in this country to, to do better than these people. You cannot, and I swear to God, I, I, I like Bernie Sanders, but he's been in there just as long as they have. Nina Turner said she wants to run. Come on, let's give Nina Turner a chance. Let's get her a running mate and let's get somebody. Um, now, I, I wanted to vote for, um, what's her name uh, when she was running? Um, oh, here, here, here we go again. But she's been in there 30 years too. So come on, we need some fresh ideas. We need some fresh blood. We need some new energy. I want my reparations. And um, we want the George Floyd Act. We want to fix the policing. Fixing the policing is not hard. It can be done. Um, we got decent people in this country that want to be on these police force and it, it can be done. So um, i got to edit this video. But listen, you Republicans, you regular Republicans, there are a lot of regular Republicans. And I'm not talking to white Republicans. Republicans come in all shapes and sizes and races and creeds and colors and whatever. You people that are out there that are not mega. Um, I used to vote for Republicans because I always wanted a nice mixture of Democrats and Republicans like my mother taught me. You don't want all Democrats. You don't want all Republicans. And you don't want all, but you want a nice mixture. Damn that. <laughs> I've not voted for Republicans since they turned crazy. Uh, uh, um, Cause you can't tell one from the other. It's sorry. Y'all, y'all mixed yourselves in with, with this QAnon and, and MAGAs and I can't tell one from the other. I don't, I don't, I can't even tell one from the other in my own party um, with Christian cinema and who who's a, a, a conservative Democrat. When I hear conservative Democrat, that's nothing but a Republican to me. When I hear moderate Democrat, that's a Republican to me. Nancy Pelosi is a Republican to me. So I want her gone. I want her gone. I want Chuck Schumer gone. I want Manchin gone. And, and or the, the other eight that with him, along with Christian Cinema. Uh, I, I want those people gone. And she's talking about she leaving, and then she's not, and just back. And I thought she, they were going to put Jeffries in there, and then they kicked him out and made him 
um, the, the, the chair of the CDC. And I, I just I want them gone. I just want the progressives in there, not because they so far left and all of this. They, they, uh, no, I want them gone because they want to try to help regular working class people. They don't want to just help Democrats. They want to help everyone. They want to help all people. Doesn't matter if you're Democrat, Republican, independent. They are actually talking about giving money back to American people. They're not trying to ruin big business. They know that we need big business to run our country, but they're talking about making America strong, making American families strong and helping poor working people and then helping people who are uh, poverty stricken. What is the matter with that? What is the matter with that? Restructuring the way that we spend tax dollars in America. That is what progressives are talking about. They're not talking about bankrupting America by a handout to poor people. And that's a stupid concept. So anyway, um, it, it, there's a lot of money being spent and bankrupting America is taking a billion dollars, two billion dollars and sending it to Ukraine. And an open checkbook. Every time there's a war, we have an open checkbook. Unending money. We're never getting that money back. And then we take their um, um, citizens, bring them here. And it's free welfare. Free Medicaid, free welfare, reparations. We feel sorry for you. Here's grant money. Start a business. Skin is white as shit. White as snow. White as the, the, the snow that fall from the goddamn... See? See my bill because I, I wind up cursing. But we can give them white-skinned people money. But what about the white-skinned people in America? Why can't they get that money? Why can't they get grant money? Why? Because they poor? I don't ever hear anybody talk about giving white skin, poor people money in America for anything. I never hear about that. Why? Why can't white people in America get grant money to start a business that's poor? Why? You don't think they know how to manage money? So it's like it's I, I hear this same old argument over and over. And then I keep hearing about inflation. I'm going to do a separate video video about inflation. I'm not going to go into it now because this video is 27 minutes long, even though I'm going to cut it. I'm going to I'm going to edit it because I got to get rid of the curse words. But um, inflation, my ass. Inflation is a hoax that they used on black and poor people all the way back before there was electricity. So I'm going to do a video about inflation. All right. I have to go. Then I have to cut this, cut this video. Have a nice day.